welcome back to the vlog and happy new year i don't know when exactly this vlog will go live but i know it'll be within hopefully the first week of the new year so i hope everybody had lovely holidays currently when i'm filming this it's actually january 1st and i can't tell you guys i know that it's just another day on the calendar but i woke up with the most excitement and just motivation for life with workouts with my home space with planning out stuff for the year literally everything i just my brain is going a million miles right now in a really good way and i'm just so motivated and so inspired and excited for 2024 so i want to use all this energy stored up and make a little vlog today in the next couple of days of kind of resetting for the new year decluttering that's one of my biggest ends for 2024 which i'll get into my ins and outs later because i'm gonna film a podcast and show you guys a little bit about that but one of the big ones is decluttering my home so i think the main thing i'm gonna do today is just start boxing stuff up dropping it at goodwill and totally minimalizing my house and then i think each day we go forward i'm gonna hit another little point but i think this will be a good vlog if you're lacking motivation or just needing a little bit of inspo for some motivation for the new year i hope that this is a vlog that's gonna totally help you and get you pumped as well that's my goal here if you're new to the channel i'm brindley by the way i post pretty much my whole life on here but a lot of like health fitness and wellness stuff too so you know you're gonna be getting some of that recipes and workouts in this vlog as always and if you're not new here welcome back i'm so grateful you guys keep coming back each week and following along on this fun little journey lately your comments have been melting my heart i go through all of my youtube comments and replying to them is one of my favorite parts of the day whenever i post a vlog so thank you so much for all the love lately let's get into this video i'm gonna spend the day getting the house cleaned up get out in the sun and get a little workout outside we're gonna do more of a 30 minute hit style workout outside maybe use one dumbbell you wanna go outside you wanna go outside ziggy jake go go outside good boy It took about 30 minutes. My bum looks crazy right now. It's like an actual sphere. But I'm so glad I got that done. Now I feel de-stressed and ready to start everything else. I think one thing I am really gonna work on also in the new year is when I'm stressed with a bunch of things on my to-do list, which happens to be a lot lately. And I just feel like there's so much on my plate for the day and I am like, getting more stressed because I'm thinking about how many things I have to get done. Instead of hesitating to do something and sitting and like writing it all out and getting stressed and looking over it all and like getting sidetracked, I am going to very first do something to de-stress and get my body feeling good my body and my mind which for me that's usually a workout so that's why i just did a quick 30 minute one it can also be like literally going on a quick jog outside for five minutes in fresh air if you can't do it that day or you don't feel like working out it can be something like reading a 10 minute devotional five minute devotional anything to de-stress and then literally picking your top three things that are the most important to get done that day starting with the first one and just breathing through it easy getting it done whatever pace you got to go to get it done and then once you finish moving on to the next um i think a lot of times i would be scattered and work on a bunch of different things at once and with maybe small tasks like listening to a podcast and doing laundry xyz that could work but when it's bigger projects i find it's better if i focus all my efforts onto one complete it breathe and then move on to the next thing so that's what we're doing now it's now time to podcast usually i podcast in our guest room but since we're going to be moving to the new house very very soon we sold my desk so i don't have any equipment up there so we're just going to podcast in the kitchen today it'll be fun this is the equipment that i use so i record on garage band on my macbook and then i use these headphones and this microphone i have this all linked in my amazon storefront if you're interested in like starting a podcast or something um but it did take a while to find the right equipment that works well and i really love what i have now so we're just gonna plug this up open up garage band for my podcasts what i normally do is i will have my notes on this ooh, on the side right here so i can refer back to them and stay on track in my podcast once i get talking i could go on and on and on and then end up being really really long so that's how we organize ourselves and today we're going to be talking about the in and outs for 2024 i think this is kind of what people are using instead of new year's resolution this year which i love because personally when i hear new year's resolution it kind of almost has a bad taste in my 
mouth. I feel like every year people talk about having a big New Year's resolution and then at the end of the year, the conversation is like, well, we'll try again next year. Like I didn't stick to it. And I know that's not for everybody. And if you stuck to your New Year's resolution and crushed it, oh my gosh, so proud of you. And I hope you're proud of yourself. But I do think that on social media, that is the majority of what I hear about it. So I love that we're kind of changing to talk about in and outs instead of just one big New Year's resolution. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's kind of like a little mini trend now that we're talking about. So you have ins and then you have a bullet list of all the things that are in for the year. And then you have like an outs section where you have little bullets of all the things that are out that year. Essentially, it's just what you wanna focus on and what you want to leave in the past. And I love it, it's fun. So I'm gonna read you guys mine real quick on here and then I'm gonna go into depth on why they're on my list in my podcast and just talk about them more. So if you wanna listen to that, definitely check out the podcast. I'll link it in the description. My ends, seeking to learn daily, asking questions and being teachable, rest days, and that's from work and from the gym, waking up for sunrise swims, embracing newness and growth, being okay with being bad at new hobbies, socializing with strangers, belly laughs or ugly laughs, sauna before bed, true authenticity, building community around wellness, experimenting with your style, and investing in quality. My outs are people pleasing, that's a really hard one. Gossipy podcasts, really just gossip in general. Procrastinating out of fear, holding grudges, inflammatory foods, anything toxic, whether it's makeup, cookware, people, anything toxic has gotta go. Draining relationships, inconsistent sleep schedules, avoiding your emotions, jumping on every single trend, saying have to instead of get to, worrying slash needing control, having a perfectionist mindset about everything and doubting your own potential. So that's my take on it. And like I said, I want to explain myself further into each of those. So I'm gonna do that on the podcast now. We're gonna record that. And again, it'll be linked in the description if you wanna listen. My hair is so thick when I put these on, it looks like a big, puffy hairdo we love. All right, I'm gonna get to recording. I'll chat with you guys after. Podcast is done, lunch is done. Now, one of my things I really wanted to do today was declutter our, what's the word, why am I forgetting the word? Closet, no, pantry space and laundry room. We are moving into the new house next week. And right now, let me just call myself out. This is what it looks like in here. It is a very big mess. And I am making it a goal for the new house to not bring a single thing that we don't use consistently and actually like brings value to our daily life. So I'm going to get a trash bag and just start throwing crap out. If we haven't used it in the past like three months, it's going bye-bye or I'm donating it. So we're gonna have a Goodwill box and then a trash box and just clear this thing out so that we can really Really know what we want to bring to the new house. session is done for now because the sun is about to set so we're gonna rush down and try to see it on the beach Lucas is back with me now hey. oh the sunset is very gloomy we've just got one huge cloud in front of it but oh well we're still gonna go down there and see if it ends up popping off at the very last second or something the water looks really pretty though sunset we ran to the grocery store real quick because we were like Ooh, we don't have anything for tomorrow morning so i have our haul out let me show you guys this week we got a ton of veggies because i'm still on my soup era basically in the last couple of vlogs if you've seen i just chop up a ton of fun veggies and then some type of meat i usually do chicken in the instapot and it makes like a big vegetable soup oh and bone broth then we got a lot of fruit we got eggs olipops this is my favorite type of dairy-free ice cream some chips and salsa and then these were lucas's bulk order of the day they were on sale and we love those kombucha and then trying out this granola for the first time it's like mct oil based that looks good um and dark sweet cherries as a little dessert beef too but yeah gonna put all this away and then I'm gonna make soup tonight so I feel like I've made soup in every single vlog but I'm in love with it lately it's just so good
January 2nd now, the next day, and we got some beautiful weather in, so I'm gonna get ready to take Ziggy for a beach walk. I think we might even do like a beach walk slash run, because I'm feeling about it. Whenever I get inspiration to go on a little run, you gotta listen to that because it doesn't come very often. So what I'll usually do is make a playlist and run for a song, walk for a song, run for a song, walk for a song, and it goes by really quick. So that's the plan, we'll see. Let's pick out an outfit right now. I'm in my cozy. This thing, I don't even know what to call it, and it's gonna be so hard to take it off, but we must get it done. Lately, I've been putting this on every single morning and I love it. It is a Ferulic Brew Rejuvenating Facial Essence. And I feel like it really makes my skin feel glowy and hydrated throughout the day. And then I go in with Clear Stem's Bounce Back Serum and either one of these moisturizers. They're both brands that I love. And then over my scar, I've been using this Mederma 30 SPF. That's a little scar update. That's what she's looking like. She's healing very well, but she's still pretty dark, so we're gonna work on her. Let's get this all on face, and then we'll pick out an outfit. There's the outfit we went with. It's the new Vitality Bandeau, and some shorts, and then it's cold outside, so I wanted to do a pop of red, but I also need to be warm, so we're gonna throw over this little sweat set from Vitality. Let me show ya. There it is, and I still have my fuzzy socks on, but we're gonna throw some shoes on, throw the hair up in a pony, get Ziggy's leash on, and go walk at the beach. It's a little bit later. We finished the beach walk. We got some work done and now I'm taking a break to go get my nails done because look at them. They're so grown out. We got to get this red off. But honestly, I kind of liked the red. It felt spicy. It felt fun. It felt bold and I kind of want to keep them red, but I'm like if I'm going to get them filled, I might as well do another color, you know? So we'll see. Maybe we'll go kind of like a white cream neutral color. That could be cute. I love the color that I went with. This is what it looks like. It's like a neutral mauve, almost purple grayish tint. Such a pretty neutral without it being like brown or white. I love it. Now we're gonna head home, see what Lucas is up to. I still have a little bit of work on the computer to do. Make some lunch. I was gonna go on a walk with a friend today, but I don't think she's able to anymore. So we have some free time to fill our day up with. Maybe we'll go shoot stuff for Honey Swim with Mary Margaret on the beach tonight instead, or maybe do a sauna session at the new house. I don't know, we'll get into something, but let's get home now and see what Lucas is doing. It is 5.15 p.m. and we are driving to the new house because we're gonna get in the sauna and have sauna a little sesh. nighttime sauna session with Mary Margaret and Noah. They came over for an impromptu honey meeting. Um, so we talked for a little bit and then we're like, we should all get in the sauna, so that's what we're doing. It's very chilly out, so this is gonna feel so good. How long do you think you're gonna last? Well, last time I did it, we did about three rounds of 15 to 20 minutes, so it was about an hour. How long do you think I'm gonna last? I could, I don't know, 12 minutes. Total? No, just in one sitting. I bet I could I do could, 22. I, I lasted 20 minutes and it was really brutal. How long do you think Mary Margaret's gonna last? <laughs> Mary Margaret, I don't if you're know, watching this. I don't, I don't know if she's ever been in a sauna. If she hasn't, then I don't know. Last time when I lasted 20 minutes, it was probably 170, 180. She does hot yoga to, with me. That's fair. Okay, so her body could be acclimated, but mm -hmm. like we're gonna start at the highest temperature at like 190, 200. So if you're just getting in at 200 degrees, I don't know. I'm thinking 10 minutes tops for both of you, really. All right, Mary Margaret, if you're watching, he's doubting our potential. I just I say we're staying in for 20 just, minutes at a time. They've never been at that any kind of heat that high. Okay, bye. Wow, it's so pretty. I can't get over it. It is hot. Very hot. I'll put our Redwood Saunas link and code in the description. I have a code that gets you $250 off of these and they're amazing, so a great investment. Let's do this thing. How do we feel? Oh, amazing. First round? Oh, I'm trying to trip. I'm like, hey. <laughs> it's actually cold. Oh yeah. Wow. I didn't think I would end up in water tonight, but. They said it's at 2.30 right now. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh my God, 
gosh, did you just jump in or did you ease in? You got it. <laughs> oh my go, gosh, I feel go, like going go, slow is harder. No way. <laughs> It's like the best thing ever though. Once you get used yeah. to it. I got pee. What do I oh, do? Oh no. Should I see all the barrel? <laughs> oh, I went well. Help. Dude, I want to run right now. <laughs> wow. I want to go run a few miles. Yeah, they said. Good soup. It's crazy. It's the next morning, we just pulled up to the gym. I dropped Lucas off to go run in the rain. <laughs> we were gonna do a two and a half to three mile run as a group this morning, but it started pouring. And I was like, yeah, I will not be participating, but the boys decided to still go. So I'm going to the gym by myself and I'm honestly so excited. I just chugged this huge pre-workout. So I'm very itchy. And I think we're gonna be hitting a little bit of upper body today. Maybe like biceps, back, abs, maybe a little bit full body. I don't know, we'll see what we get into. body we were there for like an hour and 20 minutes and it felt amazing so i'm in a very good mood now and i got in the car and we still have a change oil sign blinking so i'm gonna be little miss responsible and before i even go home to make breakfast i'm gonna go stop somewhere to change our oil so i can get that off my chest and then i will be going home to make my pancake bowl per usual another thing for the new year that i'm really working on and trying to stay consistent with is doing just like a 30 minute clean every single day because i'm a highly sensitive person and if my environment is cluttered or disorganized it affects my mind a lot and it affects my productivity. So I find it's a lot easier to keep my space organized and clean when I am doing it consistently every single day, even if it's 15, 20 minutes. I want to put in a little bit of work every single day instead of letting it pile up. Also opened some PR and just hung and played with Lucas and Ziggy for a bit. It's quite a few hours later now. It's so cold, it's so cold. I need my seat warmers to turn on immediately. I actually impromptu decided to book a little massage to treat myself because I slept wonky last night and I have the biggest kink in my neck and it's been driving me crazy the whole day and I just wanted to go away. So I'm hoping if I go get a massage, it'll help a little bit. I literally like budget a massage into my monthly spend because it's something that actually helps so much. I found the best little local spot to hole in the wall. They like rarely answer their phone and I love it that way. So let's go get this massage. I'm so excited. <laughs> guys come sitting right now i'm trying to get my life together my gym bag is blowing up everywhere and i'm trying to figure out what i need to bring to the gym but i just got here we're in a big rush this morning because i have a workout and then a dermatologist appointment in like 50 minutes so i'm only gonna get like a 30 40 minute workout and then a, a huge delivery for our floors at the new house so we're gonna be like go go going i'm not gonna film my workout because i don't really have time and i already filmed one in this gym like a few days ago so i'm just gonna really zone in go hard and get a good workout and i'll see you guys when i'm heading to my appointment all right we're back 
back home. The workout was great. The dermatology appointment was great. They said it's healing well, so that's always good to hear. And now it's time to make breakfast, chug water, and get some work done. I have a little electrolyte water going on here. I'm gonna cut up the rest of this cantaloupe because that's what I'm randomly craving right now. I think I could probably eat this whole portion right here. And then I think instead of the pancake bowl, we're just gonna have some toast and scrambled eggs today. How boring. Okay. Love you. How was your workout? Amazing. What'd you hit? I hit some legs and some cleans and some burpees. Cool beans. There is le breakfast. Luke is making the pancake bowl. Um, yeah. Oh, you're gonna have to buy me a new one today. You're gonna have to buy me a new one. And then back to what I was saying about taking just 30 minutes to tidy up your space. We did that again today, of course. And something that was on my 2024 ins was saying I get to instead of I have to. So I wanted to talk about that for a second because it totally applies to this. Sometimes when I spend an hour or two of my time doing chores around the house, I can easily get frustrated or feel irritated or annoyed, but I'm challenging myself in those moments to try to look at the big picture and realize how lucky I am to even have a house to clean and flip my I have to do chores to I get to do chores because I truly don't wanna live any of my days taking something for granted that if I didn't have, I would be wishing for it. It, and a house is one of those things. So I'm using this small scenario just to show you like your perspective is really what matters. If you can shift your perspective and the lens that you're looking at those things with, it can really have a huge effect on your day and day after day, it can have a huge effect on your life. So whether you're a mom of three kids trying to pick up your house or a middle schooler that has a chore list from their parents or a 20 something year old like me with a hubby that leaves the toilet seat up and clothes on the floor sometimes, I challenge you and me this year to start saying, I get to instead of I have to and use gratitude to shape your perspective on life and allow the little mundane tasks to actually end up bringing you joy. So I'm trying to clean right now but Ziggy's just looking at me with these little teeth out. What are you doing? You are perfect. You look so funny right now. Why are you smiling with those teeth out Ziggy? Say hi to the vlog. They love you. They say I love Ziggy J. You guys, I wish you could smell these paws. They smell like Fritos right now. <laughs> <laughs> Good, thank you. I love this guy. I don't know what I would do without you, Ziggy J. Did you know this? Anyways, I need to run a few errands. I'm going to pack up my Rent the Runway order and pack up a giveaway box, drop both of those off, drop off stuff at Goodwill. And then if if we're good on time, I just randomly last night decided to throw out so much of my makeup and skincare if it was toxic. I threw out so much stuff if it had like BHT in it. Sorry, Ziggy like actually won't let me go talk to you guys. If it had BHT or chemicals that, <laughs> that are questionable about their origins or if they're carcinogenics or whatever. I just went on a rampage and like threw out so much. So a lot of that was my makeup that I honestly had spent a lot of money on and it was really hard, but I just didn't think twice and just started chucking it. Because when I started reading about the ingredients, like BHT was one of them and there's things like saying that it can affect fertility. It can be found like in your placenta. It was just like crazy stuff that I didn't want to be putting on my body anymore. So that went bye bye and we're gonna be reinvesting this year in new clean makeup. That's why I'm like not wearing any makeup today because I actually don't have concealer. I don't have foundation anymore. I don't have bronzer anymore. Um, so we need to restock. So with all that being said, if I have time, I'm going to go to Sephora and try to pick up some stuff from the brand Ilia, I think is how you say it. That's what I was recommended. Yeah, just restock some clean beauty. For this little like non-toxic journey of skincare and beauty products, I am going to share what I find along the way. So I have created a clean beauty folder on my Amazon storefront. So any product that I'm recommended or I try out and love that don't have bad ingredients in them. I'm gonna be listing them all in there if you wanna like scroll through and maybe try some too. Isn't that right? Cause we don't want the toxins. No, we don't. Let's pack up these boxes. I love Rent the Runway, but it's always so bittersweet saying bye to the clothes knowing that they're not mine anymore. Like I loved these jeans so much. And you do have the option to buy them, but like, I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't. That's packed up. 
And now for the giveaway winner. So she's gonna get, I do giveaways by the way, like once a month on the Instagram. I love doing them. We're gonna go with a gym bag, so cute. We're gonna hook her up with some of my favorite supplements. So I'm giving her AG1, Just Thrive, some pre-workout. I have this huge bag right here full of like PR stuff that I just don't have room for or I have like duplicates of or something. Cleansing mask, a little skincare bundle that I already packed up, some SPF some serums and then she also got e-gift cards for vitality honey swim and what was the other one sephora and kaiser's coco so that is the little giveaway bundle now i just gotta drop this off at the post office okay we had some success sorry this is so up close i don't know where to put it so you're literally sitting in my lap right now on the camera but we did have success at sephora Wait, maybe i can like that's probably better i was in there for way too long and i was just trying on literally everything i think my hand is permanently tinted from how many foundations i put on it but this is what we got so i already ordered two things online from ilia because i didn't know i was coming in here today so i got mascara and bronzer from ilia already so i'll review those in a later vlog when they come in but I got a new beauty blender because mine looks disgusting. I got this Say Glowy Super Lightweight Foundation and I got it in 14. Then I got Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. I'm very excited to try that one. Milk Makeup Highlighter in the shade Lit. For milk, honestly, a lot of them were not clean, but this product was specifically so if you're buying from milk, I'm not sitting here saying I recommend everything because a lot of them did pull up with other chemicals in it but that one didn't um and then i got oh this was the impulse purchase this is from say this is the lip blur it's um matte blurring lipstick and it was 50 percent off so i was like we're getting that that's the little haul not too much definitely the essentials all of that i threw away so i'm excited to see if i like these i'll keep you guys in the loop if i do and if i recommend them but as far as the ingredients goes i recommend these now i just have to figure out if they actually like look good on my skin which is also equally important. All right, other than that, we dropped off stuff at Goodwill. We dropped off the packages at FedEx. We're going to a family dinner tonight. So really, I just need to go home and get ready for that. But I'm craving an Olipop more than I've ever craved an Olipop in my life. So I think we're gonna make a pit stop, pick up me and Lucas Olipops, and then we'll go home and start getting ready. Well, I didn't just get Olipops. Okay, this is just gonna be at a weird angle. I'm sorry, okay? I got chips and salsa. Wait, I have to show you the salsa. If you have a sensitive tummy like me and you love chips and salsa like me, but you realize when you eat chips and salsa, your tummy hurts really bad, it might possibly, possibly be for two things, onion and garlic. Those are things I'm really sensitive to, like raw onions if I have them. Stomach in so much pain is not fun at all. So I found this salsa at Whole Foods that has no onion and no garlic. And a lot of salsas, those are like some of the main ingredients or the very like heavy ingredients. And this is for sensitive tummies. It is like a little bit pricey, but honestly, I'll pay an extra $5 or whatever it is to not have that stomach ache every time I eat my favorite little snack. So shout out. I'm this brand's biggest fan. It's called Saucy Company. And then I got Olipops, and then this is my weakness. Listen to the crunch. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I'm sitting here editing, and I realized that this was the very last clip that I ended on. What a terrible outro to a vlog. Just crunching on chips. I apologize. But I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little reset vlog. I hope it motivated you or just gave you some fun tips to hopefully carry into the new year. That is my goal here. I'm so grateful for all of you here. I'm wishing you the happiest, healthiest year of 2024. Let me know what vlogs you want more of this year. And I feel like I had one more thing to say. Oh, my new year's program on the app starts tomorrow, January, Monday the 8th. And we have an at-home version and a gym version. So I'll put the link in the description. If you want to join, it's going to be really fun challenge with prizes at the end too. Okay. Love you. Have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.